Our boys come from all over Australia, from Wongatha country in Western Australia, to Arnhem Land in the Northern Territory, the Torres Strait, and then here in New South Wales, Wiradjuri country, Ngumbanyi country, Darul country. We have boys representing their culture with pride. Hi, my name is Jet and I'm in Year 7 from Nolombo in the Northern Territory. Hi, my name's Will Warboys. I'm in Year 12. I'm from Wiradjuri country in Dubbo, New South Wales. My name's Isaac. I'm in Year 9 and I'm from La Perouse. My name's Blake Steep. I'm in Year 12. I'm from Port Macquarie, which is Birupai country, but my heritage is from Dharawal in Sydney. My name is Josh Boyle. I'm in Year 8 and I'm from Coffs Harbour, Goombang Year country. My name is Tyrese Chapman. I'm currently in Year 12. I'm from a small town called Barrowville, and that is the Gumbangi tribe. My name is Trent Brownlee. I'm in Year 10, and I come from Kalgoorlie Boulder in Western Australia, also known as Guppy Gorgolina. My name is Sean Holton. I'm in Year 10, and I'm from the Durrell country. My name is Jake Cabonny, and I'm in Year 10, and I'm from Norman Boy, East Arnhem Land. Um, my name is Sukhanoa. I'm in Year 8 and I'm from Murray Island, Torres Strait. My name is um, Sim Noah. I'm in Year 9, and I'm from Torres Strait, Murray Island. I come from the Comet tribe. Hello, my name is Jasper Williams. Um, I'm in Year 9, and I come from a small town west of Alice Springs called Hermansburg, and I'm part of the Western Islander tribe. They bring with them a vast array of knowledge, wisdom and experience that contributes and benefits to the lives of every staff member and boy at the college. From the little things like improved effort grades and hearing comments like, I get this, I can do this, to seeing Joe Bonney last year being accepted into medicine at the University of New South Wales. One of the best parts coming to Scots would probably be um, meeting new students because I'm a boarder. We've got plenty of um, international students because where I'm from, I come from a little island, we don't get much of that. Um, I really enjoyed going to Indigenous prep and learning Darwin. I wanted to join Scots because I saw the impact it had on both my brothers. With one of my brothers now studying medicine at the Sydney University. Glen Gary was an amazing experience. Um, it changed me both physically and mentally. I made a lot of new friends there that I never thought I would be mates with before I went down there, so that was amazing. My passion is basketball. I started playing for fun, and then I realised I was quite good at it, so I took it more serious because I seen that I had the good facilities, the good staff members here to support me. It's probably the biggest and best opportunity I had was to play for first. The key moment for me in the Scots College would be the uh, Joey's vs Scott's game in the season. That was probably one of the biggest games I've ever played in and it was just like a really big crowd and it was just spectacular to be into this school and being around that type of environment. One of my favourite things um, at Scott's is the pipes and the drums. I do the snare drum and I got my kilt. I found it really tough playing um, at first, but with time and dedication I end my kilt and I will be going for my full home very soon. One of my proudest moments for me and my family was getting announced as a prefect and house captain of Fairfax House. This should enable the boys in the Indigenous program to strive high and know that there is no limitations here. Something that I wouldn't be able to do if I wasn't at Scots would be play rugby because nobody plays rugby in Western Australia. Um, yeah, for my major project, I'm planning on doing cultural art, so a nice indigenous dot painting. After Scots, I'm looking to travel to another city and follow my dreams of being a mechanical engineer. When I graduate from Scots College, I want to get my Bachelor in Education, which then I can use to do uh, my indigenous education, where I can mentor and help out uh, young indigenous kids around schools and be like, a mentor for them. My plans when I graduate from Scots is to go to college over in America and continue on my basketball career over there and hopefully become a professional basketball player after college. Once I leave Scots, I'll hopefully go to UTS and study physiotherapy.
is an absolute privilege to now be leading this program and being able to witness every day each of the following boys embracing every opportunity here at the college.